Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Troy, and I am from the KOTLC fanbase, which is your weekly source of KOTLC news and entertainment. Today I am bringing you a vlog that I recorded a couple weeks ago um, on spring break. We had school off for that whole week, and I just decided to take three days and film a vlog of just kind of my reading schedule. For that. This was originally supposed to be 10 days and I'd split it into parts, but it just got to a lot after like two and a half days. So I just I just said, you know what, let's just do three. So I might um in the video I might say like 10, 10 day. I did have a 10 day readathon or whatever, but I just took three days from the readathon to film it, which was the first three days, I guess you could say. So I mean with that all cleared up, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Um, and I'll see you at the end. Bye. Hello, Keeper family. Welcome to the first day of my 10-day spring break readathon in 2019. I am very excited to finally get started on this. I've been really anticipating it for a whole week, you know, um, before I planned that I actually wanted to do the vlog. Currently, it is around 10.30 right now. As you can actually see, it's 10.40, but that doesn't matter. It's okay. So, um, I already did some reading before I kind of started this vlog. Um, I woke up at around 6.30, did an hour of reading, and now I'm almost done with Clockwork Angel, but I'll get back to that around that anyways. So, let's just get started. Now, let's just start getting into the reading, I guess. I think I explained everything in my intro, but I will kind of recap everything if you didn't see. So, as you can see, this is my bookshelf for spring break. These are all the books I'm going to read in spring break. It's going to be a great time. Probably over, like, maybe 3,000 pages. I don't know. It'll be a fun time. Um, as you see, this is chronological order of how I'm going to read it. So, I'm going to start off with the Infernal Devices, which I'll talk to you more about these um, in a second. Um, the Hunger Games trilogy, the Divergent trilogy... Um, two Stranded tri Trilogies, which is all those. Then I have The Raft, Loot, and then two more of the Mortal Instruments books. And it's all fun. So, but first, today we are reading Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare. Um, this morning I read about, I say, like 90 pages from around 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock. Okay, so for today, my plan is to finish Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare and start reading Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. So what we're going to do is I think we're going to do a little reading montage, try to finish Clockwork Angel, and um, I'll update you then and kind of give you a little review of this book. So let's start the reading montage. <laughs> I think I'm done. Hello. So, um, it has been a few hours since I finished Clockwork Prince. Um, I had to go to a museum and I really had a lot of time to process the book. Um, I really, really, really enjoyed it and I'm excited to read the next book. Um, as always, I will put out the book review on my book for the month, which will be my April books. So be looking out for that um, when April is finished. But all I can say is I it was a five-star read. Really dark and mysterical and romantical and fun and adventurous. It was a really great read. I remember enjoying it enough to read it in the car. That's not something that I usually do. 
Clockwork Prince was a very fun read for me. I think I'm going to start Clockwork Princess, not read more than probably 100 more pages, but this is a beautiful cover right here. Yes, thank you. Anyways, um, I think I'm going to dot off, dot on, dot on from this book. Maybe just not more than 100 pages, probably. But we're just going to get kind of a decent way into this book so we can finish it tomorrow, maybe. I don't know. It's This book, I feel, is going to be kind of a hard one to get through. I don't know. It's just I have a feeling like that. But we'll see if we can get it finished tomorrow. But really, I just want to set myself up for... Um, success tomorrow, and that's kind of my thing. I'm probably not going to update you with any more stuff for this day, but if I do, that'll be cool. It's just I don't think I'm going to be able to get to it. I think we'll probably do more reading tomorrow. It's just today kind of was my start, and I had to, I just started learning that I wanted to, to do a vlog for this, and yeah, that's, that happened, so I guess, um, if this is the last clip I'm going to do, um, just good night. I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, Keeper family. Good morning, Keeper family. Welcome to day two of the Spring Break 10-day readathon, which I think it was like 18 books or something that I was planning to read. And yeah, I mean, let's just get straight into it. So last night, or yesterday afternoon, I told you that um, I wasn't going to update, and I didn't update. So I'll just tell you what happened for the rest of day one. So basically, um, I kind of was kind of lazy. Um, I didn't start reading again until around 9.30, and I read for 20 minutes, and then I fell asleep, so that was all fun. Um, I was 20 pages into Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare, but then you saw that time lapse of me. That was actually at 6.30, um, and I woke up at 6, or I woke up at 6, I think. It just took me a long time to get, like, you know, up, up. But, um, I was like... I fell asleep so easily last night, so I probably should set my alarm for quicker time so I can actually get a good deal of Clockwork Princess in. And I did. I did a time lapse, and now I'm currently, I lost my bookmark. Cool, that's just great. I am currently 153 pages in on chapter 7, and yeah, so there's like 560 pages in this book. I'm pretty deep in here, and I'm going to start reading it more, I guess. Um, that's the thing. So my goal for today is to get three-fourths into this book, um, which will probably be around 420 pages, I, I would say. Yeah, so then um, tomorrow I can start the Hunger Games, and I can finish this, and then start the Hunger Games. It's going to be a crazy day um, tomorrow. It's just the weekends I feel kind of more lazy or just with book reading, so day one and day two aren't going to be that kind of fun, but... Monday through Friday, I think, is going to be a lot more quicker and fast-paced, and we'll get a lot of reading done, and that will be very great. So that's my thing. It's kind of like my little update. So I think I'm going to read for maybe, like, an hour. Um, try to get to page 200, maybe, or maybe 250. I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah, I'll update you after my reading session. I'll probably record it in the time-lapse. Um, a four times speed time lapse because reading is not a thing that you can really time lapse, but it's it's okay. And um, if any of you are wondering, um, I'm actually not eating. It looks like I'm eating in that. I'm actually just um, eating jelly beans or like sucking on jelly beans because I'm a weird savor person and a conservative. But that's okay. Anyways, okay, so let's just get into the reading time lapse.
Okay, guys, so I got the ish, all right? Um, so yeah, it's currently about four o'clock in the afternoon, and I have been reading intermittently in the day, and I still am not doing so well in reading. Um, my goal today has been to get to three-fourths through the book, which is about 400 pages. I think I might be able to still do it, but um, in reality, I don't think I'm going to get there. But I've developed a whole thing in my head for the week. Don't worry, it'll be crazy, but we can do this. We can get through all those books that I got on my TBR. So, um, yeah, I've been reading Clockwork Princess, and currently I am 208 pages in, which is only halfway kind of to our goal. I think I'm going to read for a little bit um, right now, and then I'm going to read a little bit at night. Probably do a whole hefty read through at night, and we'll see what we can do. Um, I'm not expecting to get more than 300 pages done. And I think my goal tomorrow will just be to finish this book and start Hunger Games. But yeah, we'll see what we can do. Hello, Keeper family. It is day three of this 10 day readathon. And um, as you can see in the previous clips, last night I read for about, I don't know, 30 minutes. And this morning I read for two hours from 6 30 to 8 30. And then I kind of took a break, um, did all my morning wake up stuff. You know what I'm talking about. And now I'm kind of ready to kind of tell you all my thoughts right now about reading for today and for the week all my plans. So, um, I have, like, a little bit slightly more updated bookshelf. Oh, lord. So, um, as you can see, there are a lot more books on this bookshelf. I think there was, like, 18 books. Now there's, like, probably 21 or something. Um, that was because I just started, um, participating in the Owls Readathon, which basically there's all of these Hogwarts classes in pass. You need to do all these prompts right here, like retelling, work written by more than one author, star in the title, land animal on the cover, age line, read an adult work, reducto, title starts with an R. So basically there's all these prompts, and some I could fit into all the books that I had previously, but I had to like add some new ones for like the title with an R. Redwall, this is the only book I own with the title that starts with an R. Um, Land Animal, there's a mouse on the front, Star. So yeah, there's um, quite a lot that I needed there. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of my bookshelf update. But today, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to finish Clockwork Princess. I have about 180 more pages, which will take me about three hours. I think I can use that time today. I don't know, I'm just kind of lazy, I guess, is what you can say. I'm also going to read um, the Jedi Star Wars thing for my um, astronomy class at Hogwarts, which is, the prompt was star in the title, and as you can see, there's the word star right there. So yeah, I'm going to read that. It's a really, really, really quick read. I think it's like about 160 pages with 100 pictures on it. You know, I don't know. It's not my usual read, but this is the only book in my house that had the title with the star in it, so, yeah. And then I think I'm also going to read The Tales of Despero today, um, another quick read. This was for my A Care of Magical Creatures class at Hogwarts for the Owls Read of Fawn, which needs to have a land animal on the cover, and that would be a land animal right there. Um, this is also a quick read, like I just said. I think it's about 250 
pages. I just looked, and yeah, it is 250 pages. I think I can do all this, y'all. Do you believe in me? Let's make it happen. I think I'm going to read a little bit um, consecutively, and I'll get back to you when I finish Clockwork Princess. Okay, so I can finally say that I am finished with Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. Um, it was a very sad ending, I think, but it kind of more motivated me to read her next series that kind of delves a little bit deeper into kind of, let's just say, the ending. Um, yeah, again, very great. Um, I think I'm doing really good today. Um, I already kind of passed the goal for finishing Clockwork Princess, and now I have two more books to read today for my goal. Um, I might even get more than that. So I guess let's just do a reading time lapse of this um, Star Wars book, because it won't take long, and I think I can time lapse the whole reading experience. I'll do, probably do it in one sitting. I'll get whatever I need, and I'll start reading, I guess. <laughs> But yeah, so, um, I didn't tell you this before, but for the Owls Readathon, this was going to be for the class of... Let me go find it. Because I know that Clock of Princess was for one class. I think the prompt was write a, read a sequel. And that's all I read, because I only read, I usually don't read standalones that much, but... Yes, yeah, so let's look, um... Yeah, at the bottom it says potions, next ingredient sequel. So I um, used Clockwork Princess for that. So I passed one of my owl exams for this owl's readathon. And now we will be doing astronomy, which is star in the title. And you can see at the top it says Star Wars. So we can pass astronomy and potions. And we'll be well on our way to passing all the owl exams. Although I probably won't do that, but. Yeah, so let's just do a reading time lapse for Jedi Academy Star Wars New Class. Okay, so it is currently 5.40 in the afternoon, or you can say evening, and um, I just finished Star Wars Jedi Academy, um, a new class, and this was a great story to um, read for my Owl Readathon. Um, just the story, it was so funny. Um, it's one of those books where the character goes to school and like when they leave it's like oh no like you're sad um it's kind of like spy school a little bit where like at the end of the school year he's made so much friends and it's like it's hard to leave you know um it was really funny really um just like a fun short read that took me like about an hour and a half to finish um so yeah now i finished three books for this readathon which is great um uh so now I have this book to read, The Tale of Despero, and I'm just going to try to read that, and hopefully I can update you when I do, or I might finish it tonight and update you tomorrow morning. But really, the goal today is to finish this book, well, and the other ones, but the last thing we need to do today is read this book, and then I think I might want to start Hunger Games. So, I'll update you later, um, probably gonna take a break from reading, I've been reading all day. Um, yeah. Thanks for sticking with me. Bye! Okay, so it is currently 9.07 right now, and I just finished... The Tales of Despero by Kate DiCamillo, and it was a really fun read, a lot of good messages, and 
um, a very good tale. Um, it had a nice theme to it, just an overall kind of reading theme. I loved it. It was great. Oh, there we go. I'm in shadows now, right? So yeah, I finished that book, and I fulfilled my reading goal for today. I read Clockwork Angel, the Star Wars thing, and Tales of Despero, so I'm already surpassing it. And now I'm going to start on The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. I'm going to read for a little bit, fall asleep, and wake up tomorrow to start reading The Hunger Games trilogy and all those books on the shelf. It's going to be a fun time, as I always say, because fun is just a word that I use all the time. I will catch you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed. Good night and goodbye. So yeah, that is the end of this reading vlog. Um, if you want more of these, I kind of enjoyed doing it, so please comment that. Um, I know, like, in general, I didn't look too good in those clips, because, yeah, I don't know, but it's alright. Um, why did I just say that? Okay, anyways, moving on. Um, so I guess the whole point of this was to show you kind of my general experience with reading, how much I read, like... I generally read in the morning, very early in the morning, and very late at night. I don't tend to read in the middle. It's kind of weird. But, I mean, I guess I just, I really wanted to kind of show you how I read, what I read, and my general reading thoughts, and I think this was just a great way to do that. So, yeah, I, just, I really hope you enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun making it, editing it. There was actually this whole catastrophe with editing it where my whole editing app crashed and I lost the video and it was just please leave a like for that y'all I, I spent hours trying to retrieve it so <laughs> thanks for watching love you guys bye